So I thought I'd already done a review on this, so apparently I haven't. If I have, then I had two on here, so sorry. Um, these little guys, uh, <laughs> that was a really creepy face. Okay. Alright, that's okay. Cool. So this is Tampax Pro Compact. You can look, see the design, it's like, looks like sequins and it's yellow for regular. Um, if you see the black writing on it, you open it at that end. So you open it at that end, and it looks like this. And pull out a string. The wrapper first. Okay, so no, right here. First, they make a lot of noise. And then we have three left. I think mean, it's unscented. And, um, so yeah, Tampax Pro Contact makes a lot of noise. Like the Playtex version, I actually have Playtex in play. Somebody near me. The are the same. They both make a lot of noise. So, have it like this. I would not recommend this for videos if you want a compact tampon. I normally don't recommend them, but if you, have, you want a compact tampon and you are a kind of like beginner, I would say, do not buy these. Buy, pay, buy you by Kotex. Because with you by Kotex, I don't have one with me. But it's just about the same size. But you undo this, and sometimes when you undo it, it comes apart. Like, I was doing this once, I was like in a hurry, and then I did it too fast, and I was like, oh. So I had to sit on the bathroom toilet and be that. I'm refreading the tampon to put back in and you really can't even hear that it clicks you just feel it kind of like clicks in the place and so when it's really thin it looks like this and the thing is like light yellow and the grip is literally a bunch of lines like it's not even really that bad or it's not even like really like a grip and like on top, it pushes back down. First of all, it's not really easy to insert because it's not that smooth. Because the, the, those four, like, oh, you can't see, but like, it like doesn't cover, like, oh, it's okay, on. It has like a little imprint on the top. You take it out. And it has this little, like, skirt. I don't like skirts. But I guess I mean that's what they decided to do. And um for me this is like would be like a light tampon because this does not absorb a lot. I have a cup in here. I will show you guys my fluency test, but I don't. So I'm just going to bend it and break it apart, basically. And these expand in a weird way. They expand in length and a little bit in width. Like, like length this way and then like a little bit in width. And, um... Yeah, the skirt, I mean, it really doesn't help me protect at all. I mean, I don't really think the skirt has any purpose. I mean, it doesn't help me personally with bleeding through because if I bleed through, I <laughs> bleed through. And I don't use regular as much because I am pretty much a heavy flow girl. But, like, 
some people's heavy days will be manic days. So like it will be like someone's heavy day. Um, a bit someone's heavy day. I will probably use like a regular or a super. It's like my light day. So yeah. I don't like these little guys because they don't work too easily. And like, they go in like that. So I mean, like, I mean, it's like, you can like push it in too far. You feel like the, the, the plunger is coming out of the applicator, but like, that shouldn't happen. So, I don't like these, I don't recommend these. I would honestly, I would say I would honestly recommend Diva Cotex as for a compact tampon. So, yeah. Those are them, I don't like them, honestly. And they open themselves, like, okay. Like, okay, there's this one. Like, they're so easy to open. Like, This one and this one are already open, like, I didn't open them, <laughs> so, yeah, I really don't like them, so that's my view on Tampax, um, Compact, so, bye guys.